Hello everyone. Welcome back to the good stuff with Texas Joe. Wanted to do a uh, video on this uh, crossover uh, crossover submission I did from Anex to PCGS on five Morgan dollars. So um, I submitted these to Anex when they ran that dollars and cents special. So all of the all of the coins in the smaller holders, um, all the coins were basically ten dollars to grade, but the GSA dollars were five dollars to grade. So it's a really inexpensive way to get a professional grader's opinion on the coins. So I, I came up, I have a little bit of a thesis behind this video strategy that you can employ to kind of help you proceed um, kind of cautiously. And uh, I'll reveal that to you a little bit later towards the end. But um, let's, let's look at number one. Number one was a, an 1880, more, 1880 S Morgan dollar. And uh, I'm going to show you the grade, but you can also guess the grade if you'd like. See the cheek is really clean. It's got like a little bit of a um, a Madonna mole, I call it, <laughs> on the cheek there. But um, Anex did not um, did not ding the coin because of that. They actually Anex gave it a sixty six, and I sent this into PCGS. Hoping, you know, that it, it'd cross over to a 65. The 64 would have, you know, been a bummer. But, um, this coin crossed over. So, Anex graded at 66. PCGS agreed with the grade. So, I, I was kind of in, you know, kind of thrilled with that because, um, makes this coin about a $375 coin. Pretty cool. The next one was an 1882 CC dollar. And uh, Anax graded this a 63. Just a real nice coin. Anax graded 63. PCGS, however, said, no, we don't agree with you. We And I submitted these in the Anax holders. I did not crack them out. This was a straight up crossover uh, uh, submission, not a crack out. So they saw what the other guys graded and they disagreed and they bumped it up one. So, you know, super pleased with that. Obvious for obvious reasons. <clears throat> and uh, the next four are all uh, GSA holdered. And this one here is an, is an 1884 uh, CC. And I spent an extra 20 bucks on these large holders to preserve the original GSA holder and um, you know it sounds like uh, you know you could put them in the smaller holder and they'll market GSA but I just thought that this was a little bit classier and more deserving of the coin so I, I spent the extra money on it and uh, this is an 1884 cc annex graded it as 62 And that little smudge there on the cheek is actually on the GSA holder. You'll see there's some like 
It looked like some abrasions, but that's that's actually on the GSA holder. And then the reverse. And that's really uniform. Very nice. Uh, 62. PCGS said no. This is 63. So another another bump up, which uh, you know I got a good trend working here. Again, very pleased with that result. Uh, here's another. This is an 1883cc, and. Uh, You'll notice over the last one is a little less busy in the fields, which is always good. A little less busy on the on the cheek. And Anex said this was a 63, which um, is an average grade for GSA. It's about what they were at. This one is actually a 64. Now you'll notice some of these GSAs, they come in this, let's just say silver dollar, and then others will say uncirculated silver dollar. When they were sorting through these on what, what was going to be, uh, you know, the, the eventual sale from the GSA, the ones that say uncirculated silver dollar were in the, in the minds of those that were looking at the coins to grade them and separate them. If they said uncirculated, they were a little bit better quality. So this one's just silver dollar. And this one, 64. And you'll notice the certs are different. When you get the certifications on ones that say silver dollar, there's not a numeric certification where on the ones that say uncirculated, there is a numeric certification. So another, again, another upgrade, one up. Here's another one that uh, was graded uh, MS62 by, and it is, it says on circulate, this was graded MS62 by ANEX. You'll see that says on circulated. And these holders are beautiful. Really nice, man. They're worth the money. Those those of you out there who are uh, thinking about having your GSAs graded, get the bigger holder, spend the money on, especially on these Carson City dollars. It's just so much classier. Looks great. So this one's 62. And this, all right, they all stay. So this one they agreed. 62. So it, it, it crossed over from the Anex grid. And then this last one is a coin I, I really, really like. It's just, um, it's got some, some nice toning to it. That give it a lot of charm. And uh, the, the, pic, the true view pictures that PCGS does are just so good at capturing you know, what your eye sees when the coin's in your hand. And uh, you just see these marvelous blues, the gold, a little bit of red, not much, but mostly a little bit of the blue and the gold. This is an 1880 silver dollar, not uncirculated. And uh, when this coin came back from Enix, I was a little upset. I thought they undergraded it. I thought the coin was better than what they said. And uh, PCGS, PCGS agreed with me. They said MS 63 plus. So this was upgraded 
by a grade and a half, which I'm ecstatic about because I would have really liked to have seen a 64, but hey. Not complaining. And I love the coin. It's probably one of the most favorite coins I got in my collection. Just super. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Um, four coins submitted. Anex to PCGS. Two crossed over grade for grade. And four. Four were... Uh, Upgraded by at least one. One was by a grade and a half. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, you know, when Anex runs those specials and you just kind of want to get a grade on the cheap, it's probably a good idea to send them in. My reasoning behind that was, well, you know, before I spend a whole lot of money with PCGS, let me have a professional look at it. And for $5 on a GSA... You couldn't, I couldn't beat it. I couldn't beat it on a, on a raw coin, you know, $10. So I sent in quite a few coins and, uh, I got four, I sent him 45 coins. I got 40, I got 45 back. Two were cleaned, but the other uh, 43 were straight graded from Anex. So now I'm hustling through all the ones they marked 64 thinking, well, maybe they undergraded a lot of the coins. And um, kind of weighing the cost effectiveness of sending them to PCGS, hoping to um, cross them over at a higher grade. So it's a pretty good strategy. We just got to wait for them to run the special. Right now, I'm, I think they're, they've been doing Buffalo Nickels for four months now. So we'll see what happens there. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I, th I thought it was an extraordinary result. You know, a lot of people say Anex graded coins. Uh, it's not good, blah, 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 you know, and they say whatever they say, but um, come to come to find out, they're, they're fairly conservative in their renderings on Morgans, um, especially the, the CCs. Now, the, the 66 did cross over, you know, both graders agreed on that number, so that's interesting, just kind of food for thought, things you need to consider, and, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.